Hi, welcome back. It's Laura at Hyperstamper. I've been asked quite a bit to do um, a tutorial. And so I'm going to start with this one. It's um, what I feel is probably the most important thing in my junk journaling for efficiency and fun. It is the cluster making. So on every piece of ephemera that I use as a pocket or a tuck spot or a hidden spot, I usually add a cluster. So for example, this is a three tuck pocket, one, two, three, and I could have a fourth back here, depending on how I fasten it. And then this one is a double, what I call a sweetheart pocket. So it would wrap around the bottom of a page and have one, two, three, four spots. But I want to decorate two sides of it. One being upside down, so it needs a lot of decoration. So here's how I make my clusters in a hurry, but still make them really fun and fast. So this is just a big box of the scrap ephemera that I have. And I have so many wonderful pieces of authentic antique ephemera. So there's nothing in here that's commercial. This is all real bits of antique paper. And then I use my little bin of scrap lace and crochet bits and ribbon. And I also use, and this is something that is quite unique to me, um, just because I find these so beautiful, is when I got an antique book, I keep the interior spines. And I find that the textures and just the look and feel of it, it's just, it's so beautiful. And maybe I'm the only one, but I do get a lot of good feedback on it. And I'll use them as belly bands. Um, but for these small bits here that just crumble when I take apart a book, I use them for my clusters. So let's make, let's say we'll make three. So I'm not going to think too hard about it. And I think that's where people make a mistake is they think too hard about it. So this is a, a postage stamp collector's book here. I'll make one out of that. And if I wanted to make three out of this one, I would just do that there. Um, and then I would take a second piece, maybe some music sheets. So we'll do, sorry, too small, that there. And I like to use little bits of children's book pages that have a bit of color. Uh, again, don't overthink it, just do it. Uh, maybe, I don't like using doily, paper doilies because they're not real antique. So I'm gonna just take, this is a label off of a doily from the 60s, it's the original label that was on there. And let me just pull something up here. Oh, here's a new, an old newspaper ad. And I try not to get things that are too close in tone either. So I'd like some dark pieces. This is an old file folder and some light pieces. Ooh, this is a cool one. Look at that is the spine of a book. So I'll use that nice deep colors. So I've got all this stuff here. Ooh, and look at here. This one is from the Times, March 8, 1909. And sometimes it's really fun to just pull little teeny tiny pieces like that. I'll put that aside. I'll show you what I do. So I know this looks unorganized, but it's really organized. Now here's the part where you don't want to overthink things. Okay, so let me just try to zoom in a bit here for you. Move all this up. Okay, just start doing this. This is what I do. It really works well for me. I'm going to do some blobs of glue. Do not overthink it. <laughs> That's hard to do. Um, but since I don't think very much anyways, it's pretty darn easy for me. Okay, so now I've got little blobs of glue and now I'm gonna take the next piece of paper and just stick them on. And it's really easy once the glue is on there, I don't have to overthink it. It's just going to work. I try not to cover up anything that's interesting. Um, here we go. And maybe now a third piece of paper if I can. There we go, if there's more glue. And now I'm gonna add the textury part. So I'm gonna put more glue on spots that I think are a little boring here and maybe up here. And I've still got this one down here. So now I'm gonna go into my fabric pieces. And let's pull out some really cool bits here. Look at that beautiful piece of old crochet here. Why throw it out when it's gonna make a beautiful cluster again? What's the rule? Don't overthink it. Walk away. You just have to wait till the end uh, to fuss about because you don't know how it's gonna turn out until it's finished, right? So let's do that. You can see these are already starting to come together. I've got some vintage stamps here. I don't like things perfectly square, so I'm gonna try to peel off the back of some of that. Sometimes it's fun to just leave a bit like that showing. 
And again, glue, 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 and stick it down. And same with here, stick it down, another piece of that. And it's basically just watching paint dry. You're just gonna let the glue dry and you're going to be done. It's pretty cool. We've got the postage stamp page and postage stamps. Now, the last piece de resistance is my spines here. So this is just the netting that's been totally ripped away from the spine. Absolutely beautiful. Just stick it down, stick it down. Don't overthink it. <laughs> Have they mentioned that? So I'm just looking for glue now. I'm not gonna add too much more glue because I've given myself my glue allowance. Oops, there's a little piece up there that I missed. And I'm just gonna stick this right here. Okay, there. Now, the magical part, very plain pocket. But now when I take this wonderful cluster, whoop, I'm just gonna add my glue. I use Aileen's glue, by the way, and I only buy the one where it can stand upside down. So I never have to fight with it. And there's my cluster on one side. And then if I want more on the other side, I'll just do this. And I've got that. So you can see, people wonder how I make my journals so quickly. Uh, this is part of it. I'm pretty time efficient. Um, and if I wanted to cover up the upside down G, which I do, because it's gonna bug me, uh, just do that. So there you go. That's how you make these beautiful clusters. They're cluster musters. That's what I call them. Don't overthink it. Just do your layers. Do them cottage industry style. There. We are done. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any comments, leave them and don't forget to subscribe.